Welcome to the final workouts of Support Your Box. Do you trust your gut feeling? Before the workout starts, you need to discuss who does which order of the workout. One athlete has to do the Tabata with the burpees and the two minute MRAP with the thrusters. The other athlete has to do the Tabata with the thrusters and the two minute MRAP with the burpees. Athlete one starts with a Tabata. When that is finished, there is a one minute mandatory rest. Then you directly continue with a two minute MRAP. It's not needed for athlete two to start directly after athlete one is finished as long as it's done within the same hour time frame. This way you can support and judge each other. The tie break is noted in reps after the one minute mark of the two minute MRAP. Burpee over the kettlebell or dumbbell. The athlete goes down to the floor until the chest and hips touch the floor. You may do this jumping or stepping back. The athlete then moves back up jumping or stepping and finishes the movement with a jump over the kettlebell or dumbbell. You can do the burpee as you like, facing or sideways the kettlebell or dumbbell. But the jump over the kettlebell or dumbbell always has to be done with a two feet takeoff. This is a no wrap. Kettlebell or dumbbell thruster. It's a single arm hold only. Between the reps, it is allowed to switch hands. It's not allowed to perform or support the kettlebell or dumbbell with two hands during the repetition. The first rep starts with the athlete picking up the kettlebell or dumbbell from the floor with one hand. The hip crease must clearly pass the knees in the bottom position. A full squat clean into a thruster is allowed. Then the athlete brings the kettlebell or dumbbell to an overhead position in a smooth motion. The kettlebell or dumbbell must come to a full lockout overhead with the hips, knees and arm fully extended and the arm with the kettlebell or dumbbell next to the ear. Then the athlete brings the kettlebell or dumbbell down to the shoulder in a front rack position and continues with the next repetition. This is a no wrap. The hip crease must clearly pass the knees in the bottom position. These are no wraps. The kettlebell or dumbbell must come to a full lockout overhead with the hips, knees and arms fully extended and one arm with the kettlebell or dumbbell next to the ear. Good luck and have fun with the final workouts of Support Your Box.